Part of living in the South, playing outside, and sometimes with worm bugs and caterpillars. But there is one caterpillar that is common in the area that you certainly need to stay away from. As WDSU meteorologist Quaylen Murphy shows, it's okay to look, but do not touch. They just look like giant hairballs, mm -hmm. like cat hairballs, and they're very creepy. And you too may see them around. They're pus moth caterpillars. They're not only outside. We found one inside. And I have a granddaughter that's five, so I'm just deadly afraid that she's going to step on one because I'm always telling her to put her shoes on. Pus caterpillars, also referred to as buffalo caterpillars, are native here. There's one here. And most prevalent between midsummer and the early fall, and they gravitate to an array of plants and trees. There's two on there. Yeah, and there's one on the back here. While these insects look like an innocent member of the Adams family, they do present some concerns. The problem is those hairs are all hollow. And they contain a very strong toxin. They're called hollow hairs like that are called urticating hairs. And so if you touch them and they pierce your skin, it injects the venom into you. And reaction to the piercing can vary from stinging to vomiting to more extreme reactions. I've actually seen a lady in anaphylactic shock. If you find yourself stuck by the caterpillar, don't rub it. Sometimes you can see the hair sticking out. You, get a, you go get a piece of uh, uh, scotch tape. And you put it on there very, very softly and then lift it out and it'll peel those things right out of your skin and not inject any venom. But if you have any kind of a reaction, especially an escalating reaction, you need to get to an emergency room. These caterpillars may be furry, but you'll want to avoid petting them. Well, if anybody sees them in their yard, it's always good to remove them. Just get a cup or something like that and a stick. You don't want to touch them. And you can put the cup and kind of flick them into the cup. And then you can dispose of them any way you want to. A meteorologist, Quaylen Murphy, WDSU News. And as always, if you think you or a family member might have been stung by the caterpillar, it's always wise to err on the side of caution and visit the emergency room.